guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you all so much for cl clicking on this video and giving it a watch if you're new here thank you so much for giving me a try i hope you want to stick around and hit that subscribe button to join my youtube family don't forget to hit the bell button because then you're notified every time i upload a no vi new video wow words are hard also, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow. If you're not new here, I appreciate you all so much for continually clicking on my videos. Um, I do tend to chit chat a lot, so I just want to give that for a warning there. I like to tell you what I'm using my items for, so hopefully it gives you inspiration and ideas for when you go out shopping. So that's really why I talk a lot in my videos and sometimes I just like to talk. So with all that, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I'm a day late. I went shopping late this week. Um, just life, you know, I really try to stick to my posting schedule, but sometimes life gets in the way. So um, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have a, a thing that I'm getting ready for for Saturday. So I picked up a bunch of stuff. Gertie wants to say hello. Look, look, look my pretty girl. You want to look at the camera? You just want to look at me? Hey, Gertie. My it pups are super adorable right now because they got groomed. Oh, we have Ethel getting jealous. She's going to be next jumping up. They get so jealous of each other. Come over here. I can't get you over there. The table's in the way. Come here. Come say hi, too. All right. Ethel also wants to say hi. <laughs> they just want their little five seconds of fame, I guess. So there's Ethel. And they're just really jealous of each other. As soon as I put Ethel down, Gertie's going to jump back up. All right, now with all that, um, there's stuff in here I'm going to show you, but I picked up four of these. They're just their little storage boxes. I always call them like the shoebox storage boxes because they're like kind of that size of a shoebox. Um, so if you pick these up, one, don't forget to grab your lids because they come with it. Two, don't forget to check your corners because sometimes they get a little beat up when they are either on the shelf or on their way to the shelves. And so you always want to like check them to make sure they're not cracked. These were the only four left in the store that I went to and I was able to get them all. They all look to be in good shape. Um, and they're just good for like if you're just storing like little things. I'm actually, I have a Timu haul coming and a couple things that I picked up because I have, I've been, I've been at the thrift stores a lot. You're going to see another thrift store haul tomorrow. And Lorelai found herself a pair of shoes, but they need to be cleaned up. And so as I buy the shoes, you know, you want to clean them up nice. I ordered some shoe cleaning stuff from Timu that's on its way. Um, and I picked up some stuff from Dollar Tree. So I want to do like a little shoe cleaning kit. Braxton also likes the expensive shoes. So I'm going to encourage him to spend more time cleaning up his shoes to keep them nice for longer. You know, you, you invest in shoes. They're not inexpensive and you want them to keep them keep them going longer so on that note i did pick up these two toothbrushes they are the wood handled ones i just thought for some reason that they would stand up better to do like some cleaning um it doesn't really say that there's soft bristles on here i don't think um my goal was kind of soft bristles to kind of softly clean up certain areas of your shoe but it doesn't really say, but it says it has wavy bristles and a bamboo um, handle. Um, the bristles are made of 60% castor oil. So they're plant based is what it says. But I just thought the bamboo ones would be good. They also have the charcoal bamboo ones, but that worried me to clean shoes with because I don't want to like ruin shoes. Like I want them, the goal is to keep them nicer and not make them worse. So. I did grab those for the purpose of cleaning up some shoes. Braxton whipped out his, um, he has some Jordans and that he got at the beginning of the school year. So it's been a while, but man, they are trashed. So we're going to spend some time doing some shoe cleaning. I also, it'll be in my next haul because I kind of separated out some bags, um, but a magic eraser too, but it didn't end up over here. I thought it did. All right. I picked this up and this. So yesterday, part of the lateness, our youngest got called, the nurse called, ended up sending him home because he fell and hurt his knee. She was concerned that maybe it was like urgent care worthy. As soon as he got, my husband went to go pick him up. As soon as they got to his work, he jumped right out of the car like normal. He has like a little bruise and a little like a little scrape on his knee but he ran into some stairs but we, i didn't know if t um, last night and or today he was going to have some more pain so i picked this up it is a hot or cold pain relief pack reusable gel pack for temporary relief of muscle aches arthritis pain or swelling 
Um, we do have some ice packs already in our freezer, but they do dwindle, especially the ones for injuries because I have three kids. Okay, so this comes with an ice pack like this. I didn't even look in it when I grabbed it. So that you're going to toss in the freezer. I always put mine in Ziploc bags, like the um, freezer bags, to keep any smells off of them. And then it gives you this little pouch so that that way it's like covered. That's actually awesome. I'm going to pop that in the freezer just for, for next time anyone has any injuries. And believe me, that happens around here plenty. So when you have three kids and sometimes they're... I hate to say it, but a little bit drama. And so you just say, hey, go get an ice pack. And then they forget about the ice pack. It disappears for a while. They clean their room. It comes back. Um, so, you know, it doesn't hurt to have some extras. And this is a nice big size. The other ones I have are more like those little like beads in them that freeze. So this one might be good. So I grabbed one of those. Um, don't need it for the purpose I picked it up for, but it doesn't hurt to have it on hand. Same with the reversible tough wrap. I was looking for like an ace bandage and they didn't have any, but they had this. Again, it was unneeded. He was just fine. Funny thing too, then my oldest came home and he had fallen down at school and he had, I think this elbow, one elbow, one palm of his hand and a knee all scraped up. So our kids were a bunch of klutzes yesterday. I didn't hear from him until after school. He just showed it to me, but um, but this I'm just going to toss in my first aid kit because you never know when you can use it. So I kind of picked it up as a just in case he needed it yesterday. He didn't. And now we're good. All right, next. Oh my gosh. So this was a last minute find. I was kind of on my way out of the store. I went looking for some hair things to see if they had sunflowers on them. I'll talk about that in a second. I didn't, but I found these. I picked up two sets because I'm kind of a symmetrical person. So if I decide to use these, I'm going to want like two of the same, but they are little hair clips and they have a strawberry, a avocado, and a pineapple. No, that's not a strawberry, that's a watermelon. I know my fruits. So a watermelon, and avocado, and my favorite, which is the pineapple. These are so cute. One, it's so funny to me that the little hair clips are coming back because this was like from my day and I did all the like the butterfly clips. Um, I don't know if I'm keeping these or if I'm going to end up giving these to Lorelai. She doesn't really use little clips either or just use them for some sort of decoration. I don't know, but they were so cute. I, I had to and I had to pick up two just in case because if I do like little clip backs, I can do like two little pineapples. Guys, like how cute would that be? So I had to pick those up. I thought they were the cutest darn thing for the summer and for any time because they're cute. And then they also had these ones. So these also are just hair clips. It's a three pack and they're little popsicles. Oh my gosh. So I only picked up one of these. I was like, you know, if you do two of them and they're kind of, they're the same item, just in different colors, that's okay. Oh, they're taped down. I'm like, why isn't it coming off? Because they secured it with tape. So these ones aren't the same kind of clips. These ones are like, uh, alligator clip I think is what those are called and they're just little and they're covered in ribbon and so these would be perfect if you're doing like a baby's hair don't mind my roots one of these days in my life I'll be able to get my hair done but there is like a little popsicle oh my gosh how cute is that we'll just leave that in it's not in the right spot and my hair needs to be colored but this one kind of looks like a bomb pop a little bit it's a little pinker than red but Oh my gosh, I was, I was in love. So I had to pick them up and so I did. All right, next. All right, so this weekend, so I'm, okay, Lorelai and I are part of a youth group. I talk about it all the time. Um, we're part of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. It's a fraternal organization. We're really based on community service, doing things for others without thought of anything happening in return. I was part of this youth group as a kid and I'm pretty sure it's formed who I am as a person because if you're not new here, you probably hear me a lot talk about donating things and doing things for others. It's just, I don't know, kind of ingrained, I guess. And I think I learned it from my youth group. Um, anyway, so we do things called visits and stuff where you, there's three clubs in our state. Other states have clubs and stuff too. Um, and so we get to see one of our other clubs here in Colorado this weekend and kind of host a visit for the person who's the president of the theater assembly. It's just a whole thing. Um, but I needed some things for that. So we're having a meeting and then we're having refreshments. And so we kind of do some decorating. We do some things for refreshments. And I always try to base them around colors because I'm a theme and color person. And her colors that we are seeing are light blue and white. And her flower is the sunflower and her um, 
They do an emblem and a mascot, and that is a volleyball and a yellow lab. The Dollar Tree, I didn't find anything for that. If you watch my thrift haul tomorrow, you'll see some stuff for that, though. Anyway, so for refreshments, we're just going to do some popcorn. And so I picked up a couple little blue bowls to put the popcorn in. Now, their blues were slightly different. So as we get to the um, other stuff, you'll see that they're slightly different, but we're going to make it work. So I got the blue bowls for the popcorn as well as the scoops. I know that the scoops should get like a small size and a larger size, but you have two of them kind of separated out. They'll be fine to be able to scoop up some popcorn um, and they match the bowls. So I got that for those refreshments. And then we're doing like a drink, like a punch or something. And so I got these cups. These are the same blue as that. And I got one set of clear just to kind of I don't know in my brain I liked that idea um you get 10 each in these um I was shopping so let me warn you so right now the summer stuff is coming out which I love right so it's like the tiki stuff and the summer party stuff and they have these exact cups and they have the blue and maybe yellow and I don't remember the other color because I was really just looking at blue but in those ones you only get eight count and these ones you get a 10 count so if you're looking to get cups like this for an event for a party for i use these like during um gingerbread house decorating and i put different candies and stuff in them and they're a good way for that so if you use these for anything and you know you that you want more than eight or you want to get more bang for your buck kind of pay attention to your labels because these standard like everyday labels you're getting two more so keep that in mind i didn't realize that and I was looking to compare the blues to see if they were the same or slightly different. And I noticed that the quantity was different and I'm all for getting the most for my money unless I want something in a smaller size. So keep your eye out, but they always seem to have the clear. These are the ones that I always use. Like um, I did them for gingerbread house making, like I said, and it's a great way to separate your candy. If you have like a group of people doing it or a candy bar, they're great for like, if you're doing like I do candy tables at birthday parties, and I get those or the other little bowls and they're a great way to like put candy out on a candy table for kids um so I really like those all right next I picked up some plates we're doing a cake and some popcorn so I just got the small ones and um I found it interesting so again her colors are blue and white so I went with those colors the white plates though you get 30 and the blue ones you get 24 so because they're white, you get six more plates. So if you're doing something that you can get away with white plates instead of like a light color or the color you're going for, you know, maybe you want to consider. It depends too on what you need. I was just going for color kind of style, but this is where, this is like their party light blue and this is this light blue, so they're kind of different. They're not the same, but we're gonna make it work. And so um, I got those. We're anticipating 20 to 25 people-ish. Um, for the shindig and so I was kind of trying to go off of that okay I, now again we're doing a cake and so I picked this up for the cake it is the cake server set and so you get the um, square one or the triangle one I'm just gonna wash them both up and pack them up because we're going so I live in the Denver area and we're driving to the Colorado Springs area on Saturday for this so um, I'm going to get everything all ready to go pack it up in probably one of my nice big Dollar Tree bags and have it there so I'll just have both of those ready in case because I don't know what the cake is I'm not in charge of that so I don't know what it is I'm in charge of what I'm in charge of others are in charge of other things um all right I also picked up tablecloths and the location where this is, it does have a kitchen, it has tables, it's awesome. I picked up five round tablecloths in the light blue because I think that's how many tables we have that people can sit at. I don't think we'll need them all or people will be sitting at them all because like I said, I think it's 20 to 25 people, but um, it will look nice if they're all done this way and then it makes cleanup easy. You just scoop everything up in the tablecloth and throw it away. And then I got the rectangle one for the cake table because I'm pretty sure it's usually and pretty if I remember correctly it's just going to be like one of the like rectangle tables and then we can set up our snacks and cake and stuff on that. I should have got a white one for that actually. I do need to go back to the store because I forgot napkins and dice but the dice isn't for what I'm showing you today but those are two things I forgot so I do need to go back. Maybe I'll grab a white tablecloth because I wonder if that'll look better under everything and then it'll offset the colors a little bit so I might do that and then for silverware I just grabbed these you get 48 of them 
Um, and I was debating. So I know they have the box ones that you get. I think in the box ones it was 52, if I remember correctly. Because the spoons and knives had 48 just like this. And I think it was 52 in the forks. But these ones are listed as heavy duty plastic versus just regular. So I'm hoping that that just means they're a little nicer. I mean, they're just for cake. I know sometimes when you eat certain foods, you need like better stuff. But um, just it's like kind of pay attention to what it is that your your event is. If you have um, like hefty, hearty foods, you probably want the plastic ones that are clear that are like super heavy duty because Dollar Tree forks, they're not the best. But if you're eating like cake like we are, I think they'll just they'll serve their purpose just fine. And they're white. And so they go with the color scheme. And I grabbed this little guy to stick them in. So I like to use these buckets for forks. I usually am like a grab a cup. But when you do a paper cup, they fall over and they make a mess. And I've had that happen more than once. So now if I can get one of these, I actually have some solid color ones that I use regularly for my parties. But um, I got the blue one for this one and like I had mentioned sunflower is her her thing and so I scooped up I think I have one of these already but I always use them so I might use my Cricut and do a little sunflower on here just for fun to decorate it up and it then goes with all the decorations but that's kind of dependent on time which is the story of my life and I run out of time all the time but um that was my idea of getting the yellow vinyl and then if I don't use it for that, then I just have another yellow vinyl on hand for my next whatever the project may be. So grabbed that. Um, if you are new to your Cricut Maker or to vinyl, the Dollar Tree vinyl is a little bit difficult to work with. It does take some um, patience and um, patience and figuring out your machine and the best way to cut it. Because if you cut it too thick, it cuts through the whole paper, the whole thing. If you cut it too thin, it's a pain. It, it takes it takes some patience but if you can get it going it saves you a lot of money so there's that also to decorate like the cake table i guess i'll maybe i'll keep the blue one i grabbed this it's the blue tinsel garland i learned from my taylor swift party that i did you have to make these they come i guess i just didn't pay attention so they come flat like this and all you really need to do is you fold them in well you twist them in the middle so it makes it like that kind of thick twisty and then you fold them in half and you twist them some more and then it creates and then you fluff them and it creates like the little spot where it goes on the ribbon that they do provide for you so um you just have to plan that this is going to take you a few minutes to put together it's not terrible but it takes you a little bit you get nine tassels all together in this and it turns out to be nine feet it says i'm assuming the nine feet is like the length of the string they give you um so just plan a little bit of that but i thought you know i put the blue tablecloth do that across the front so it kind of hangs down from the table just to give it a little something and it was in the right colors then for some tablescape um i picked up two of these vases these are the ones i liked the best for the flowers i've mentioned that the sunflower is her flower these ones are the summer sunflowers and they had them in a darker yellow and in like a white i believe so i just picked up this yellow it was the one i liked better i picked out the ones that had the prettiest flowers they're on wires and so my suggestion is to make them a little nicer and bigger and fuller you just kind of separate them out like this and in these vases they had a different vase it was a little wider all the way down and kind of the same but i didn't like the way they looked in there so i grabbed these ones for that reason at first my thought was i'm going to do two things in each one which looks great but i might buy more because then i remembered we we're going to have those five other tables i had this idea for the cake table but the five other tables oh and then before i tell you more about that i also got these glass um gems and i figured i'm going to put a few on the bottom of each of the vases in blue because that's the other color one it weighs it down to i thought it would look nice but i might want another one of these too because i have those five other tables but i don't want to get five more vases like i don't want to do the whole thing so what i was thinking is i'll get another one of these and spread a few of these out and then just pop off a couple of the sunflower heads and kind of just stick them on there like that and then you don't need a whole vase situation, but you still have a really pretty kind of little centerpiece, little something going on. 
And so um, hopefully I can find the sunflowers again because you just never know. Like they might sell out really fast. I did pick up four though. And so my other idea was if I decide just to do one per vase, then I also do have two more to work with to be able to do that. And these come with five per per thing. So that means I could do some, I just need some more glass beads and I can do um, two per table of the little flowers. And I think that that would work out really well too. And just remember to separate out your flowers if you can, because they just makes it look nice. But I guess if you like them all as one, I'm, I don't know, I like it kind of both ways. I have time, like it's not until Saturday. Which one do you like better? Do you like them when they're all pressed together or do you like them when they're all spread out? You guys help me out. Tell me what you think. So like which one do you think? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like them like this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. All right, we are almost done. Just a few more things. I picked up this sunflower ribbon. I thought if anything, I could just kind of tie a little bow around this. So it's going to have the blue beads down here, tie a little sunflower bow just to give it a little something extra. So that was kind of why I picked that up. Um, and then I did also grab this. It was just a lucky find that like I was looking at the picture frame aisle and all the little pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So it's got the two sunflowers. It's the blue. It's a little bit darker of a blue, but it's the blue and white color scheme. And my very best friend has a Glowforge. So she does like wood cutouts. I don't know the right word, but we talked about maybe popping this summer off of here and doing her name, the, the person who's like the guest of honor putting her name right here instead. And then she has a little keepsake too that only cost us $1.25 plus um, the little bit of work and supplies to do her name on there, but it will just step it up a notch. And I thought that that would be really nice. She agrees, so I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. So I picked that up for a little gift. Finishing out what I picked up at Dollar Tree for the gift, I didn't get much because it's Dollar Tree, but um, I also picked some stuff up from the thrift store, Shh, don't tell her, but you'll see that tomorrow if you come back from my thrift store haul. Um, I did get her a card, it's a birthday card, so I'm just gonna glue a white in the middle. So I said yellow labs are her, one of her things. I think this is technically a retriever because of all the fur, but how cute is that little card with the little doggy in the pool? That's why I think it's a retriever, but we're gonna pretend it's a yellow lab because I thought it was adorable. And then inside it does say, wishing you the happiest birthday under the sun. Really cute to go with the card, but I'm gonna just do a white piece of paper over top where we can just sign and say, you know, thank you for your friendship, blah, 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 whatever it is that we choose to write in there and make it not a birthday card. But I thought this was too cute not to grab. And it was one of their 50 cent cards. And then the last thing is the bag, if you saw it in my um, thumbnail. But I mean, you've heard me now talk about light blue and white and sunflowers. Like, is this not the perfect bag? It says it's the journey and not the destination. Also love that. And so um, if you come back tomorrow to see my thrift haul, you'll see what I'm putting in here um, as part of the gift. But um, yeah, so I got that to be the gift bag. I just need some white tissue paper, which I'm almost positive I have on hand. But since I already need to go back to the store for, I need napkins, I need dice that go with something else, and um, more of these. So um, you won't see those in a haul because they're gonna be being used, but that's okay because you've already seen them. Well, minus the dice. All right, guys, that's that's what I got today. It's a little bit shorter of a haul. I expect that this week. Um, it's really weird coming off of Easter month, which was March this month, where I am in a rush to get you all the things to like, hmm, here's just kind of what I've picked up and it's not as like overwhelming. So um, I do have some more treasures, some more really cool finds. You'll have to come back for on Saturday for those. Um, some of the like new in store kind of, okay, I found new socks um, and I was really excited because you know how I am about the socks. I love them and I put them in gift baskets and I love gifting them and I love the socks. So I did find some of the new ones, but I'm seeing other people find other new ones that I haven't found yet. So, um, and then I can't remember, there's other things in there, but I can't remember what, oh, there's some pens. There's some fun stuff. So come back on Saturday. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you goodbye now. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know which way you like the flowers. I'm leaning towards them all pressed together. That just says more sunflower to me. But tell me if you think they look better spread out. I am 
I'm super curious on what it is. And I don't always reply back to comments, but I do always read comments. So you know that I always see them even if I don't reply back. Um, that is what I got for you guys today. I cannot wait until I see you in the next one. It will be tomorrow and it will be a thrift store haul and I'm going to be recording it like right now because I have all the stuff and I need to put at least one of the things into the washer. So before the weekend and I know it's only Wednesday, but you know, I got to get it done. So you will be seeing that very, very soon. I well tomorrow. So I will see you guys really, really soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.